Morning guys, John Iliaris here, Power Up 365. How are we doing on this great, great Sunday morning? I do these Power Up 365s on Sundays and um, I think one of the most important things you've got to do on Sunday is grateful, be grateful for the week that's passed. Some people maybe didn't make the week, some people had things that happened to them that didn't happen to you. Um, so it's gratitude. Just being grateful for this morning, being grateful for your life, being grateful for everything you have going for in your life, being grateful for the struggle. If there is a struggle going through your life, be grateful for the struggle. Be grateful for the happiness, be grateful for your kids, be grateful for your wife, be grateful for your job, just be grateful. Your Sunday will turn out an amazing Sunday. Because gratitude is part of spirituality. And we got to tap into our spirituality. And we got to sit and take time and just close our eyes and say, Thank you, God, for this great day. And um, I say, God, but spirituality, there's a difference between religion and spirituality. And you got to understand that after gratitude, you just reflect. You reflect on the week that's passed. You, you put your week in perspective in order to put your life in perspective because so many of us are so much harder on ourselves of the bad that has happened in the week or in their life and they, and they over-exaggerate how that, that event or that situation is going to affect their lives and they, they really over-exaggerate and most things in life a few years from now won't even be relevant, won't even be relevant. But in the same sense as people over-exaggerate what bad is happening to their lives and how, how ungrateful they feel, the same happens with your success. You, your success, as soon as you get some success or something goes right in your life, you make yourself more important than you really are. And you lose your, your humbleness. You lose your humbleness because you feel that you had a great week, great success, and now everything is set. And in time, that success and, or that failure will be a moment in time. And the way I like to explain it is, if, if you had a graph and failure was below the x-axis and success was above. So if you had a line and, and failure was below and success was above, I think our lives are all the time going like this. And the reason why that is a healthy sign of life is because when you so-called think you're failing, you're actually learning. So when you're going below the graph, you actually start thinking that you're failing, your life sucks and everything is bad in your life. Meanwhile, you have to go there. It's just part of life. You have to go there in order to get up. I think the best example that God ever gave us on that is, who of you have ever just started walking? Has any of you just started walking? You just got up and you just started walking? It doesn't work that way. You fell, you fell, you got up, you fell, you got up, you fell, you got up. You were persistent. You kept on being consistent. You had, you had a clear goal that you were going to walk. That's why most people in the world walk. So it's just how life is. So if you, if you make your life about your failures and about your success, that due to the fact that I had a success, I'm important, then you lose your whole perspective on life and you make yourself more important than you really are. And when you have a failure, then you, you hurt yourself because you make that failure so important and none of that is really important. What's important is the x-axis that is i am that i am i am successful i'm great i'm perfect i'm beautiful all that stuff was given to you at birth no event defines you no event defines you you were defined at birth you were defined with your greatness just by being here just by by your existence has defined you. Your existence has made you successful. Your ability has made you successful. The, the purpose and the gifts that you were given at birth makes you successful. So it's given. 
It's not your successes and failures that is defined by a man-made. So I made two million, a man made two million, therefore I am successful. Or I lost two million, now I'm a failure. That's, that's, that's just life. You are successful through default. You are an amazing person through default. There is greatness in you through default. It was given to you. You don't have to ask for it. You don't have to pay that back. You don't have to do anything for it. It was given back. To, it was given to you. I think if there was something that you are meant to do, and maybe we can call that paying back, is one thing. Live your purpose. So all you've got to do is live your purpose because in your purpose, in the design of your purpose, in the design of who you are, is service and contribution to the world. And that's why you are here to serve and contribute to the world. So if you focus on your failures and successes and you think that defines you, it doesn't define you. It's just your life. It's just your journey. It's just how you got up to there. That's all it is. So guys, with that, just, just wake up this morning knowing that you are born with greatness, knowing that you are an amazing person. Take the time just to be grateful, believe, de debrief the week. And no matter if it was a successful week, a failure week, just sit in gratitude. And then set yourself up for an even greater week. Greater week aligned with purpose, aligned with mission. So thank you very much, guys. May all of you have an outstanding, outstanding Sunday. Enjoy it. Have fun. Take the time to focus on what's important. This is Johnny Liardis, your success strategist, and I'll see you guys at the top. Cheers. Bye.